Ooh, I think we are officially live. I have the chat up. You're gonna have to bear with me. This is my very first YouTube live, guys. So if you're here, let me know in the chat. <laughs> Hopefully I'm doing this right. My goodness. Um, all right, we're, we're live. It's official. Okay, I gotta, I gotta check it on my app. I'm just, I'm a little paranoid at the moment, y'all. Okay, give me a second. Oh. YouTube live, guys. Boom. So if you're here. Okay. Here's the thing. Normally, okay, I want my drink in my hand. Normally when I do these lives, I have background music, but I believe YouTube has very strict rules about streaming music. So this one's going to be a little bit silent, but it's fine. It's fine. How's everyone doing? Welcome. I can't even tell how many people are here. I don't know what's happening, but I will be translate, translating, transferring all my lives to YouTube off of Instagram, off of TikTok going forward. So welcome. So again, this is my first YouTube stream. I don't know the fuck. See, I don't even think I'm allowed to swear. I don't think I'm allowed to swear. So I gotta, I gotta watch my mouth. But I thought I would talk about relationships <laughs> because I'm 31 and I am single and it's actually a very different age being single at 31 than it was like in your 20s, I realized. And I don't know what you guys think about that, but like when I'm on a dating app and I'm scrolling, it just, it, like you see someone, and I'm not trying to like be negative towards older people because I'm now in that like different age bracket. But you like see someone older and you're just like, oh, he's too old for me. But then you like realize like, no, no, he's right within your age range now, Katie. Like you are not some little young pup anymore. Like, like this 35 year old man is very much age appropriate. And so it's just very different now. Or ugh, this one, this one hurts my heart. Back in the day, I feel like I could just like swipe and get like a guaranteed like match young little fresh 23 year old katie oh i like this guy swipe connection or whatever the lingo is you know now sometimes i'll swipe and i'm like oh and then nothing happens which means they did not swipe on me and that just like kills your freaking confidence you know to the point where i will even swipe on ones i would normally say no to i'm like you know what maybe i'm being just too picky. let's just, let's just let's just say yes Let's just say yes to everything. And so I'll swipe yes on a few that I would definitely not normally. And then it's still not a match. And I'm like, oh my God. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the dating apps for me. What do you guys think? What are, what are the apps that you're on? See, here's the other thing. I am on Raya, which is a very different app than like the general ones, I guess. Um, so I haven't had the best of luck on that. But also I don't want to go on like, I don't say a regular app. The, the one benefit that Raya has that the other apps don't is like you cannot screenshot. Because look, I saw John's dating profile. It made it to Reddit. And I would die if my dating app made it to Reddit for them people to dissect and talk about. And I'm just not interested. I'm not interested. So, anywho. <laughs> I really liked Hinge. I really liked Hinge um, back in the day. I haven't downloaded it. But I know it had different... Um, Elements of like voice memo and questions and topics to like get people talking. And Raya's just generic. They're like, we're going to take your money and we're going to run. Because like they literally put no investment into that app. But I, being the financially savvy girl I am, was like, oh, I will pay in advance for a full year <laughs> because it's cheaper. And now I've committed to this app for the next 12 months. Well, maybe not now. It's like, I don't know. 10. It's trash. Don't feel like you're missing out on anything. Maybe back in the day it used to be really cool and like celebrities were on there. Trash. Anywho. Oh, see, Hinge is better than Bumble. Okay, okay. See, and some of you guys have a lot of success meeting people online. Not me. Um, I don't even know how to tell like how many people are in here. Oh, here we go. Sorry. I promise going forward these streams will be like a little more like you know, seamless. Um, but I'm, there's just a lot when it comes to YouTube. I should move this chat over here so I could see it better. Um, 
The pattern has a dating element now. The pattern? What the heck's the pattern? I can swear on this live. Okay, here's the thing. I will be reposting my lives so that people who missed it can join and watch later. So I feel like there's certain rules about swearing, so I'm going to really try not to, but you know me. When I get feisty, it's I cuss like a sailor. I'm drinking, actually, this drink. I don't know if you can see it. It was actually sent to me, and it was very good. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. A lot of these um, canned cocktail drinks aren't really my thing, but this one I really, really enjoy. Um, and so I reached out to them and let them know, like, hey, this is actually very good. I'd love to work together if you guys are ever interested. So we'll see. I really wish there was music. I feel like there's, like, these really awkward silences when I'm, like, trying to read your guys' comments here. Um, I should probably add, like, a question box on my my Insta so that I guess – no, you don't forget the people on Instagram. You got – Derek, you made a YouTube thing. Um, we're going to focus on the people here. If you're on Instagram and you missed this, that's your fault. How do you feel being set up on dates? Um, I feel like, I don't, have I done that before? I don't know if that's happened. Oh, that happened once and it did not go well. The man, oh, bless his little heart. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. I went on a date with this guy and he put, he took me to this tiny little restaurant and he had a huge bouquet of flowers to give me like at the restaurant. Like, I don't know, he didn't pick me up. We must've met at the parking lot or something, but so I see him in front of the restaurant and he has these flowers. And I'm like, oh my God. So he gives me these flowers. And then I'm just like, uh, what do I do with these flowers? Like I have to have them now. And now everyone's looking at us and now everyone knows we're on a first date. And look, I don't like that kind of attention. I would rather be under the radar. And then not only that, it was like such a small restaurant, like the, t the table and the flowers. It's just like, it was not a good match. And I just felt really uncomfortable the whole date because of it. Um, and then, oh my God, I don't, I really don't remember much of this date, obviously, because it was the first and last date, but he must've been talking about pizza a lot. I don't know, because when he got up to go to the bathroom, the table behind him made a comment to me about pizza as if to like poke fun. And I was just like, Oh my God, like everyone knows we're on a freaking date right now. I don't think there are roses, but God, roses though, triggering. I don't, I don't need those in my life. No, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad. Thank you, Ashley, that you agree. I would not like, I don't know. At what point do you, do you get the flowers? Do you get them like on a first date? Are they sent to you after a first date? Do you give them to her when you're picking her up so she can leave them at her house? Oh, put them in the car. I didn't think of that. That's smart. Have you considered networking through mutual friends? Or okay, here's the thing, guys. I actually was in a, I don't even want to call it, a casual thing, which was so stupid. It was so, ugh, I'm mad at myself. Here's the thing. My advice to myself and anyone else who is looking for the one, because I am, I like, let's be real. I think we all are at some point, right? If someone tells you they are emotionally unavailable, say thank you for sharing that. It was really nice to meet you and walk away. But see me, I was like, well, I also am like emotionally unavailable. So like this could, this could work. And look, I've actually never done like a casual thing. I've never done it. Um, and now I know why. Because it fucking sucks. I swore. I swore. You guys, now I'm heated again. I swore. Um, yeah, it's just like, I don't know if someone tells you they're not available, but still want to pursue things. And even if that f sounds really fun, just don't just walk away, run. As Sarah said, run, run. I didn't. Oh, look, I'm getting blotchy. What the heck? I don't know if that's anger, if that's alcohol. Jeez embarrassing see when I when I finally get around to doing stand-up I am gonna make sure I'm wearing like a shirt up to here so that no one can see my nerves kicking in <laughs> oh yeah here's the thing I don't like as much as I want to try dating again this one actually really stung a bit like I the like this is gonna be dramatic so just bear with me the little 
bit of my heart that I had left to give, I gave to this person. And sure enough, it exploded in my face. It exploded in my face so hard that I'm done. Like, I'm done. I know everyone says that. I know everyone goes, um, then they, no, but like, I really, like, that. this one, it's for the best. I need to focus on, like, what I'm doing with my life. And I, I just, I've had shit luck with people right now. It's just, it's just pissing me off. I'm just angry. No, I'm, I'm fine. I just, like, you just have to be better about, God, this rash is going to drive me nuts that are in this. You just have to be better about, um, picking people. Like I said, like know your worth. Know if someone says like they're unavailable, then like, then just save each other the hassle. Just be like, mm, I understand. Like, good luck. If they say like, oh, I just got a relationship. Me. Just got a relationship. Mm, probably too soon. You know, there's just, I don't know. I don't know what my life is anymore, to be honest, but that's the thing. I think there's always such a focus on figuring out what is your life, what is your purpose, what is your goal. No. Life is, like, literally, life is a stage, and you are the main character, and you are just here surviving. Whatever that means to you, survive, have fun, live your life. Your rules are your rules. Like, you you don't need to be married right now. You don't need to have kids right now. And if you do, that's great. Like, everyone has their own path, you know? So that's what I keep reminding myself is like life is what <laughs> life is what you make it. But no, really, like I need to stop comparing myself to other people. My path is going to be very different from someone else's and that doesn't make me any less like worthy of a person than they are. You know? I don't know that this freeze it's frozen on my end. Oh no. Uh oh. No good. No good. No good. I think my camera froze. Okay, guys, I need to figure out how to make sure this thing doesn't auto shut off. <laughs> so bear with me while I figure my shit out, as I was saying. <laughs> Google. Oh my God. This is a fail. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> okay, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm so sorry. If I can figure this out in like two minutes, we're gonna have to switch to like my webcam, which is fine, but not ideal. Let's see. OMG. Okay, this is, I mean, I'm 
unplug this for a sec. Bear with me, y'all. Said battery exhausted, but it shouldn't be using the battery. It should be using. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> just talk. I could. It could just be a. Uh, it could just be a, a true podcast, guys. No video. Oh no. You guys, I'm a failure. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You know how much time I put into um, getting this figured out only to not realize that uh, my camera was going to be upset with me? Oh, guys. Oh, man. Are we all relating to the battery? Is this symbolic? Is this a sign from the universe that we're just all drained like the battery of my camera? Boo, okay, you know what? We're going to switch to the webcam while I let this calm down. Um, let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Boom. Can you see me? Do you see? <laughs> you guys, I'm so angry. Look, I know it's a webcam, but I put, I put a lot of energy in to make this a very formal looking stream look now my people my phone's blowing up where'd it go oh oh look it's dave he's telling me i'm a failure i'm sure dave said oh he said good luck <laughs> dave it's a fail my camera battery is exhausted <laughs> like all of us well Retrograde. You know what? I forgot about that until right now. Fucking planets. Screwing up everything. I, I can't believe it. This this live feels boring. I, I was really excited to be all official. Now I get this little this little thing, okay? <sighs> Anywho, I'm gonna be distracted by this. Let's just let's just put this away. It is what it is. It's a learning lesson, like everything else in life. We'll just have to figure out for the next one. Oh, Dave, no, Dave, my camera, my legit camera turned off on me. And so I turned it back on. I thought it was like on auto timeout or something. And it said battery exhausted. Well, yesterday I had the settings so that it was through the U USB. But maybe I have to do that every time. I don't know. And so, um, yeah, the battery, the, the camera, it's, it's very upset. It's dead. So we're on, we're on, we're on lovely Mac, Mac camera now. Great audio. And you know, I, I got, I got the mic going guys. Um, so anyway, we're going to focus my double screen. Oh, this is, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see here. Minus. Okay. Did that. Is that better? <laughs> you guys, what it, what this should have been was Kate, train Katie how to use YouTube. Oh, man. I'm so <laughs> Look, you know what I love? This is what I love about all 175 of you here. Today is Katie learning how to ride a bike. She has the training wheels. She has the elbow pads, the helmet, the camera. I'm telling you, I know for a, without a hesitation, without a doubt, I just know it's only up from here. <laughs> and you guys are all going to be like, I remember, I remember her first live. I remember I was there. She had, she had some lamps on the floor. Her camera died. She's using her Mac. Literally, you know what this is on? You know what this is right here behind you guys? This is the guest bed. I don't have a desk. This is a guest bed. You know what this ring light is on? A Cutwater PR box. All right? So, y'all are here in the beginning. It's only up from here. And I just appreciate y'all being here. 
uh, just get a great weapon. No, look, this will work in the future. Tonight is just, it's too much. We're live. It's fine. First TikTok live. I know. Okay. I'm actually very curious. I recognize some of these, the names in here of people who are here during my TikTok days, which by the way, if you're from my TikTok era, this was the game we used to play on, on TikTok live, which we can, we can probably play tonight. Um, during the pandemic, that's when I joined TikTok is when we were all locked down. Like everything was closed. Restaurants were closed. Work was like, every, it was so, it's such a weird thing to think about now, you know, but everything was closed. And so I got on TikTok. I made a little community and we would just go on lives and hang out and, and drink and play games and have fun. Oh, I love seeing some of these people in here um, from TikTok is really exciting. You want to play? I'll, I'll see what I can find in here. Because here's the thing. Give me something to talk about tomorrow. Dave, where's my cut? Where's my cut in all the money that you make from like 12 Days of Messy, Nick Vial, Katie drama, Katie Blake, John drama? I want a cut. You know what I thought about though, Dave? I always thought like whatever, whenever I do have something big to tell, I was like, maybe I'll give Dave the exclusive. Like, Katie, positive pregnancy test. Isn't sure who the guy is because she's casually dating. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not anymore. And also I use protection, guys. <laughs> I'm, never mind. I'm just going to, on that. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's play. Let's play. I'll find, I'll see what I can find. Okay, so some of these cards don't, like work in a group setting. It'll be like, um, you know, whoever's the tallest, take a drink. And then there's a bunch of them that work for like just everybody. <sighs> Tasha's wedding, man. One month away. I hope you're ready. Um, thank you for joining, guys. Thank you for uh, joining the live and hanging out. I hope you have your drink. We're going to play a drinking game. We're just going to chat. Um, oh, you know what? No, I'm not. See, I got to. This is the thing about lives. You're gonna, you're gonna see some growth. This is the first live. This is this is baby Katie. Then we're gonna we're gonna watch a live stream one year from now, and you're gonna, you guys are gonna see like such a difference. You're like, oh my god, she's grown so much. Our little Katie isn't doing streams out of her guest bedroom anymore. She's in a little studio with an actual fucking camera that works. Okay, okay, let's see. Um, see, okay, so I I should have split these up first, cause th these won't work, cause you have to be in a group setting. See, the person with the biggest ears drinks. Look, if you have big ears, then drink. I would say mine are pretty normal. I'd say mine are pretty normal. God, I'm so like, if I'm being honest, that card made me horny. <laughs> like, I think of, like, I thought of ears, and then, I, and then I just, like, my mind just went to, like, biting a guy's ear. And then I'm just like, what is wrong with me? Like, I swear to God, when I'm single, I want sex more. It's like you want what you can't have, you know? I'm sorry. Maybe that's too much information, but that's what these lives are. These lives are just like hanging out and being real and just really sharing the details. Tiny ears. <laughs> no. See, some of these, I think some of this text is like a tiny bit delayed, so I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, also, this one time, I was making out with a guy, and this part of your arm is very sensitive, I think, but I forget. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I, st I still think about this to this day. I think I must have grabbed his arm or pulled or something. This has never happened before, but he like verbally said, ouch, <laughs> and I felt so bad and so embarrassed. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I guess this is a very delicate little uh, spot on your arm. <laughs> anyway, um, see, this is last person to clap their hands drinks. This is a really fun game in person, actually, like in a group setting. Um, but we'll just have to skip that one. See, I can't. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find these. <laughs> Here we go. You drink. That is the card. How's your guys' dating life, huh? Any stories you want to share? 
in the future, I'm working on it right now, I have a Discord being set up where um, people can interact more and there's like ways to like send in like voice memo or like even talk live. Like I said, I'm still figuring all this stuff out and I'll be able to have you guys join. Oh. Oh, see, my phone getting distracted. Probably shouldn't have that out, but it's fine. Um, what's the game called again? It's called These Cards Will Get You Drunk. I, I highly recommend it. It's on Amazon. It's just like a good, um, it's a good like warm up game. Like if you're like at, at a, like a house setting with a, like a small group of like, I don't know, 10 or less people, then um, yeah, this just kind of gets it going. Oh, we got, we got all sorts of relationships in this chat welcome no dating life to 20 years dating life who is she Pfft. honestly i don't know i don't know i'm just like in a new phase in my life i don't even i don't even know what love is anymore single for over two years okay here's here is the thing i think my biggest thing is i am a serial dater so i date like a lot and I date back to back and I haven't actually like taken a beat to just not date, you know, like just, just truly be single. So as sad as I am about this casual situation thing, whatever, not working out. Cause we're like, what's the definition of it working out? It was casual, Katie. There's a dead end. The dead end just came sooner than you wanted it to. You enjoyed having sex? Go use your fucking vibrator. You enjoyed cuddling? Get a weighted blanket. You enjoyed going on dates? Why don't you call up your girlfriend and go on a date? Sorry, that was like internal dialogue to myself that like I just shared. <laughs> oh gosh. Sorry, I'm just like angry at myself. I'm just angry at men. I'm just angry in general. Um, horny while single thing is not helping you. Oh God. You know what I think it is though? If you listen to me on Caitlin's podcast, I think it's like um like a biological thing. I think my body's like, hey, we're gonna need you to reproduce. We need you to uh, contribute to society and the population. So we're just gonna encourage you to be sexually active. <laughs> Sorry. Oh God, this live feels like it's been an hour and it's literally been 27 minutes. And I would do these lives for like over an hour back in the day. One, I have no music and I hate that. I think th I think the music helps a little bit with my ADHD of just like focusing better. Two, this uh, this camera, I'm gonna fucking break it. All right, guys. Everyone, see, oh, I can't, fuck. Yeah, it's not that one. Everyone wearing the same color. Excuse me. Shirt as you drink. So if you, this is blue. If you have a blue shirt on, drink. Do you still talk to John or Blake? Um, John, yes. Blake, no. I don't really know like how much stuff I can say totally about Bachelor stuff. I guess, I guess, I guess my agreement is that I can talk about stuff after August 9th of last year. So I think that's a fair question and a fair answer. There's, there's a little bit of behind the scenes. Hide the camera, I should. Motherfucker. <laughs> Ho phase? Okay, I've never had one though, if I'm being completely honest. Don't be me wrong, I've, ha I've like hooked up with people that I thought were gonna be more than one time, but oh my God, you guys, this one time? This is so specific that if this guy ever saw this, he, was, he will know I was talking about him. I, <laughs> I <laughs> okay. This one time, there was this guy, and I, he was great. Like he was, he was attractive. We met at a um, uh, like a fundraiser. He, he played the piano. Like everything was really cool about him. We went on a date. It was great. We ended up back at his place. And keep in mind, this is like there's days and talking, and whatever. But we eventually go on a date, and I ended up back at his place. He had this contraption. <laughs> I think it was on Shark Tank, and. Some of you guys might not even know what I'm talking about. He had this contraption that was like a fan that attaches to like the blankets or the the sheets or something and blows into the bed and then makes this like dome of like AC. <laughs> and it was the craziest little 
contraption is room. I just, I don't know. I couldn't get behind. Like it was so, it was so weird to me. And that feels like a stupid reason to like not, not call back or like be done. Actually, the real reason, let me give you the real, real reason. That was like, that was just weird in general. I was like, uh, I don't know about this. Oh, someone knows. Okay. Someone knows what I'm talking about because yeah, it, it was <laughs> imagine like being like hold on let me let me turn on the bed and he like flips a switch and the whole thing is just like you know blowing air and you're just like okay (laughs) um oh hi randy if you're late it's okay it'll be posted later it's a shit show this is my first live on youtube which i don't know how to use but we'll figure it out it's baby steps i told everyone this is the beginning and a year from now when when you see me explode, um, everyone's going to be like, I was there when she was just doing a live in her guest bedroom. Anyway, if you're a guy in here, this is some advice for you. So after that happened, I, I ended up staying the night and we ended up back at his place drunkenly. Like we were at a bowling alley and had to leave the car and Uber back to his place. Anyway, so it's the next morning. And I called an Uber, which I didn't really appreciate. Because here's the thing. I know he wanted to see me again. I know he knows that he fucked up on this. But I called the Uber. No big deal. I'm a working woman. I can I can buy my Uber. That's fine. Whatever. But he lives in an apartment. And those apartments were like, for some reason, like A and B is next to like X and like W. And so you're just like very lost in this apartment complex. So the Uber finally comes. Does this man walk me out to the Uber? No. He like hugs me goodbye at the door. So I leave his apartment and I'm just like in my like yesterday clothing, walk of shame look, trying to figure out how to get out of this apartment complex and find my Uber. And I was, I I was so mad. I was so, I was just like embarrassed. I was mad. And the thing is, I was more mad because I knew he wanted to see me again. I, because he like, obviously he ended up reaching out and I told him straight up. I was like, look. That was shitty. That makes a girl feel really bad. Like, not only did you not, like, buy my Uber or offer to pay for it, you didn't even, like, help me find my Uber. So I'm, like, lost in your apartment complex trying to find this car. No. Yep. So, moral of the story is be a freaking gentleman. Is this story from your recent days? I just joined. No. This was an old one. But I, I did talk a little bit about, like, a recent dating story. It was with someone that we both agreed to be casual together with and that actually ended up hurting more than I expected. So I won't be doing that. In fact, that was probably, that would be like my first like actual casual thing. Like anytime before it's like you, you go on a date and you, you hope it works out or you like go on a couple dates and you hope it works out. But like this one was straight up him and I were like, let's be casual. Sure. And then you just think, okay, maybe my feelings will just like go away. Maybe they'll just like, you know, but they didn't. They did the exact opposite. And then I'm like, oh my God, (laughs) my feelings are growing for this man. Now what? We're hitting a dead end. That one sucked. Like I said, my lesson for that one is to not do casual. Like you're just, you're just hurting yourself. I don't want to do that. Um, don't bother dating, not worth it. Honestly, I don't, I actually really don't see myself going on a date anytime soon. This last one was like actually pretty shitty for me. And then here's the thing. I like, I, I do put myself out there like I talk to people, but I don't know. I guess the older you get, and this is, this is a good thing to be honest. The older you get, the more like sure of yourself you are and you know exactly what you're looking for and you know how to like cut through the bullshit. You're not like fighting through like, I don't know, the dating scene. I don't know how to explain it. Like back in the day, I could entertain stupid questions. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite holiday? Where did you, like, just like so like surface level. I, I would I would do that. I would do that all day and like it was fine. Now, I'm like, you're fucking boring. You are boring. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. And that was what was nice about this last guy is like, I just, I really enjoyed just talking to him like every day. Like we just, it was just different. Don't settle. I mean, honestly, I, yeah, at this point, 
It's like I, I'm, I've been single this long. I've been unmarried this long. Why, why settle now? Yeah, I hate those questions. God, I should, I should, I should look at my Raya just so I could tell you guys like what. I can't technically show you because that's against the Raya rules. Oh, who is this? <laughs> Um, sometimes you get a little gem that pops up. I feel like I'm blushing now. Okay, this person, actor. Who is this man? I can't say his name because that would be disrespectful. I'm going to match. I'm going to match. Oh, look, his bio. Can I share this? Probably, whatever. No expectations. Laid back. Mm. Red flag? Probably. Let's heart it. Connection? No. No. Like I said in the beginning, I, I go, sure, I'll like this guy. No connection. Last one was on a dating app. These guys are asking weird questions, saying weird shit. Honestly, I forget. There's, there's been like articles out now about how, and no offense to men, but like men suck. It, it was like, I think my short version of it. It was like that men need therapy. Men need help men need to grow emotionally spiritually mentally all of the above and like women are like tired of it women are like I'm mm -mm, I'm good I am good sweetie um red flag <laughs> you guys I liked it it's too late I liked the red flag okay okay here's another one um okay if he's not smiling in the first photo it's a no for me no smile. Nope. I don't like that. Um, here just for friends. So Raya has an option where you can make friends with boys. Why would I don't need more friends? I don't need more friends in my life. I'm going to say no to that one. Okay, this one is an interesting one. Stunt man. Should I date a stunt man? He's 37 years old. See this this is an example where I go, I don't know, 37. It's like, "Kitty, you're freaking 31." 37 is very appropriate. Speaking of age appropriate though, when I was moving out of, um, no, please, offense to men. <laughs> um, when I was moving out of my old apartment, these two guys moved in right next to me. I was like, of course. My apartment was dead. When I moved in, nobody lived there. And as soon as I'm moving out, everyone's moving in. I'm like, a fucking course. So anyway, really cute guy moves in next to me. And like, he keeps seeing me move like every day. Like we're like crossing paths. Cause he's moving in, I'm moving out like nonstop. So we finally start talking and he's so cute and he has a little accent, whatever. And then he, I can just tell he's young, but I don't know how young. And at some point, I think I just straight up said like, how old are you? <laughs> he goes, 23. Oh, and I go, oh, okay. He's like, how old are you? I said, I'm 31. And I always feel like a mom when I tell like a young person my age, even though like obviously it's, the age gap's not like crazy, but it's not for me. Did I give him my number? I did. <laughs> I, I gave it like a tiny shot, but like the more I thought about it, I was just like, it just feels like grooming a little bit. It just feels a little like, I don't know. I was open, but I never ended up going on a date with him. I was just like, I can't. Like, I just not, it's not for me. Too young. Yeah, it's, it's see, here's the thing. I... Don't have the time to train anybody anymore. The, the men I trained in the past, guess what? They are freaking married now. They're married. You're welcome, ladies. Literally at least, uh, I think three now. I think, oh my God, at least three now. Dated, dumped. Next person they date, they married. You're welcome. And that's the sad thing. I saw this TikTok sound that was like, like basically this girl is basically like, I'm the lesson. I'm not the one you marry. I'm not the one you have kids with. I'm the freaking lesson. And I was like, I swear to God, if I'm the lesson, that's fine. Then what, do I, what am I getting in return? If I don't get a husband in return, what do I get? Am I going to win the lottery? Where's my, where's my yacht that me and all the single ladies can hang out on? Because we've been putting in the work and it's been benefiting other people. And basically, I'm done putting in the work. I'm done putting in the work. You, you do come to the table ready 
<laughs> and if you're not, keep on moving. I don't have time, strength, energy. I don't have any of that anymore to try and train <laughs> a boy. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Stuntman. Back to the stuntman, guys. Mm. Oh, prioritizes health. I don't, that's not me. I don't prioritize my health. I literally had McDonald's and Taco Bell in the same day. I didn't realize that until this afternoon when I got Taco Bell and I was going to tag them. And I was like, no, I already tagged McDonald's this morning. I cannot tag two fast food places in one day <laughs> uh you turn someone into a priest whoa um also i'm so sorry if these um if your guys' chat is delayed i don't it feels like it might be a little bit delayed but i am trying to like engage and watch um you know what else i say no to on on these apps surfers men with little dogs and honestly, I think J names. I think I just have to really cut my losses on J names. Um, I just, I wish I could show you guys some of these. Okay, this guy. Oh. I, I changed, okay, here's the thing. Originally, I had my age range as, um, I think, 30 and above because I didn't want to accidentally, like, run into John on here. I don't know if he got approved or not. It doesn't matter. I finally was like, well, him and I both openly know we are on dating apps now. Like, we are beyond the part of, like, getting over each other we are now the part of like we know we are actively seeking new relationships so i changed my age range a little bit to 20 i think 7 i'm 31 even that feels a little much but this guy 27 heart do we connect no we did not <sighs> done with this done with this for now that's the thing that's the thing with this app sometimes i'm just like Swipe, swipe, swipe. It's, it's so shallow though. Here's the thing. the Some of the people I've met in person, even dated in person, I don't know that I would have swiped on them within an app. But they end up being like very great human beings once I met them in person. You feed off their energy. Um, their personality, if anything, like elevates their attractiveness. Um, with these apps, you're just li literally, all I was doing is looking at their first photo and reading a bio. What, how, how do you, how do you know if someone's going to be a good person based on that? That's so shallow. Ugh, I feel like I'm talking your guys' ear off. I'm so sorry. Although I guess like I you guys have no choice. You're just here to listen to me on my webcam. Oh, where, I, nope. The camera's gone, Katie. Just focus. Let's see your profile. Can I show you my profile? I feel like I could. I'm embarrassed. My profile, I should... <laughs> I will, I will read it to you. I shouldn't be judging because now I feel called out because literally this is what my bio says. It says, my friends pressured me here with a red pin. This is the maximum effort I'm willing to put into this bio at this time. <laughs> okay, for real, that's literally what it says. And you can um, put a little picture or a video behind it. This is me. Hey. I also called myself a um, creative director because I'm a creative director of my life. <laughs> Look, what am I supposed to put? Washed up bachelorette? Social media? Influencer? No. Comedian? In the future. Maybe. <laughs> I know, judge me, please judge me, because I've just been judging all these men, and now, and now here's, here's my bio. Because I don't care, like I just, I don't care. And also, I'm, like, I'll be honest, when, when I was on that, because I'm now I'm committed to a year, if you've missed that, I've committed to a year membership of this stupid app. Gotta get my money's worth, although I haven't. Um, I was talking to somebody, and so I just kinda wasn't really interested in being on the apps, but. Now I'm not talking to somebody, so I'm like, I guess I should swipe more. <laughs> Content creator. Uh, so you're not ready. Why push it? I know. You're right. You're right. Because here's the thing. When I see other happy couples, and this happened, this is this is a little insider like stuff. 
This happened to me while I was engaged and watching Paradise. I would see these happy couples and it would it would hurt my heart. Like it would I would feel jealous, I would feel sadness. And that was while I was engaged. And regardless of being in a relationship or single, if you're seeing other people's happiness and it's hurting you, like you know you're not in a good place. And that's how I that's how I felt. Like I knew I wasn't in a good place in that relationship. And even now I know I'm probably not in a good place to like be dating. Because this is what this is what probably happens is I'm feeling sadness and I'm trying to like fill that little hole. And instead of filling it with myself, I'm like finding someone else to like fill that little gap, you know, like with a little band-aid, like being in a casual relationship. Do I know it's it's not going to be long term? Yeah, but it, it feels good now. So let's put this little band-aid on it. But guess what? That band-aid is going to be <laughs> so emo. <laughs> That bandage is going to be full of fucking blood and you're going to have to take it off. You got to rip it off. It's going to fall off, whatever. That bandage is not going to last forever. And you just got to learn how to like heal within. And so, yeah, whoever said I, I'm not ready to date, you're right. I, I, I'm not. Like I, I will know like I'm officially ready to date when I can look at a happy couple or a random proposal and just be like happy for them. And I, I was at that point at one point in my life, like, you know, during my relationship with John, during like the, the height of it, like I was very happy with him and for random lovers on the street. I was just, I was just happy. And now (laughs) I look out, so there's my windows right here and I have no curtains right now. Um, yeah, now I'm just like sad. (laughs) If I'm being honest, like I see other couples and I'm like, damn, you look happy. Good for you. (laughs) I don't mean to bring like the vibe down with that, but why do you think Blake and you aren't compatible? I I shouldn't be reading these. I think you guys can see these comments as well. Um, Again, it's my new live. I don't know what happens when I say this because I will I will repost this later. Um, You're in a you're in a you're in a. I don't want to say fantasy world, but you're in a different world, a world that's not real when you're falling in love on the show. And then you go into a real world and it's, it's, there's different obstacles to face. There's different habits that happen. There's different things that are experienced that you just don't experience in that bubble. And that's where I think, um, what is it? Love is blind is kind of maybe, I don't know if I'd say more successful because I think they've had some breakups as well, but like you get to like live with the the person for like a week or two or something, you know. Like, and granted, you're engaged right away, but excuse me. There's just there's not enough real life scenarios on some of these dating shows to really test out if you're actually compatible. Like, I don't know why they haven't done an IKEA furniture building date. Because listen, I was with a guy and I remember putting furniture together and we hated each other after that. Hated, like honestly, I don't know why they don't do that. Why don't they have you actually like watch it like a, a child for like five hours? You know, like why, why you gotta have me like hitting a freaking pinata of like random questions in a forest instead of like going to Costco and, and planning out our, our week of groceries. I don't know. What would you say, sorry, I shouldn't, I don't mean to read this out loud, but I'm thinking I'm going to. To women applying to be on The Bachelorette, um, do you mean women applying to be on The Bachelor? I mean, look, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Like if, if it's on your mind and you wanna do it, then do it, you know? But it it's, especially now more than ever, it is a mentally, challenging thing and if you're already struggling with mental health before I would encourage you not to do it because I thought I was mentally strong like I I thought I had like I knew I was a sensitive person but like I was used to having like an online audience and I was used to criticism and I was like I don't care what people think of me whatever then you do it and then you realize like mentally like the impact of that show and it's it's scary it is so scary so my advice is um, understand where you are at with your own mental capacity and health. And if 
you think you can handle that, then then do it. But it is not easy. And that that is why I like don't I try really hard not to critique anybody who's been on the show. Like I did mini recaps for like a very short period of time and I tried really hard to not be too judgmental with the cast members or the leads, especially the leads. Um just because I know what it's like. I know what it's like behind the scenes. And it's you think you know what it's like. You think as a viewer you know what it's like and you don't. You really don't. So just keep that in mind. Which is also why certain leads who want to shit on other leads, I'm judging them. I'm judging people like that because I'm like, what are you doing? Like you know, you know what it's like. So why why are you like creating this stupid narrative about oh, what the audience sees? Cool. You know what the audience doesn't see. So have a little bit of compassion, have a little bit of grace, show a little bit of support when it comes to these people. Anyway, there's my two cents. Listen to yourself right now. I can't tell if I'm behind on something or if you're talking to me, but I am listening to myself. Hey, I didn't say any names. Because once I say names, that's when like shit hits the fan. I'm just not, I'm over that. Anywho, I should draw another card. Um, have you explained how you met Whitney Cummings? Um, I don't know if I ever explained it, but it was really cool. I was, uh, I was on Jimmy Kimmel and she was on Jimmy Kimmel the same night. And so we were crossing paths and I saw her and I just like instantly like I think I was like, can I hug you? Like, I didn't even introduce myself. I was just so excited to see her. I was like, can I hug you? And she's like, yeah. And she's just so tall and beautiful. And and then I remember Blake was with me at the time. And I was like, this is Whitney. She's a comedian. Like, I was just like fangirling. Hugged her. And it was very quick. I don't even remember what we said. Like, I feel like I blocked out just from like, oh my God, Whitney. Um, and then we messaged each other in our DMs. And then I got to go on her podcast and which is actually at her house um and yeah it was really fun it was great we still text from time to time um I really want to go see her actually she's in LA obviously that's where everyone's at it feels like um but yeah that was really that was a really fun uh it was a fun day in Canada you don't make pennies anymore I did not know that Who's your celebrity crushes, boy crush and girl crush? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm really bad at that, to be honest. Um, like I, I've never had the hype or fascination with like movies and celebrities and actors and singers the way that other people do. So like, if I go to like celebrity events, half the time the person's with me, I'll be like, who is that? Like, I won't know who it is, you know? Um, like, I was at the People's Choice Awards, and it was actually so cool because you, you are surrounded by, like, so many people. But I just felt... I just felt like I existed there. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I didn't feel, like, I didn't feel, like, in shock, which then also means, like, it's hard for me to, like, elevate these people as, like, a crush because they're just, like, people, and unless I'm talking to them, it's hard to be, like, I have a crush on them. But the last crush I did have was um, Robert Pattinson, back in the day oh my god I wrote him a letter like I actually hand wrote a freaking letter and mailed it and I had a boyfriend at the time but I I don't think I was hitting on him I think I was trying to be like that cool girl of like oh it must be so lonely being at the top you should get a dog like I don't know I don't really remember like what I said I do remember it was along those lines and I remember telling my um boyfriend at the time that I did that and he was actually like really upset (laughs) As if he thought somehow like Robert Pattinson was going to like reach back out and we were going to hang out. I don't know. <laughs> but that that would be like the last like celebrity crush. Um, I was thinking about this. This you guys might enjoy. Um, so I've been a fan of the show for a very long time. I, I can't remember if he slid into my DMs or if we just talked publicly through chat. Like, uh, sorry, comments. Chad Johnson. I used to follow him uh, on my question, or on my scene. I'm like reading some of these comments. I used to follow him on Instagram, and there was a, a video or a picture or something of him. And I said, um, "I go your bicep, your bicep is the size of my waist." 
And that comment alone had him following me and I think messaging me. I really don't remember because it was a long time ago and it didn't really go far. <laughs> but um, Chad Johnson, God, so embarrassing. And then another guy... I'm trying to think of what his name was. Another like reality TV guy. Because at least the reality TV people, I trust me, I was not trying to be with Chad. That Chad was Chad was already on his his bad era. It was like he was starting to, you know. But I used to follow him. But there's this other guy. Um, he's on. The, he's. I just saw it today. Actually, he's on the challenge again. He was on X on the beach. It starts with a J. Unless his name is J. Oh, if his name's J, I'm going to fucking lose it. Because I literally just said at the beginning of this live, I was like, no J names. I feel like his name is J. Oh my God. He was on Survivor, X on the Beach, The Challenge. I'm like looking at the comments to see if anyone knows who I'm talking about. I definitely slid into his DMs b- back in the day. Before before I was ever like on TV. Um, God, now I'm going to look it up because no one's, no one's saying it. It's going to drive me it's gonna drive me nuts. Um, Ocho Cinco. What? Um, let's see. The challenge. I gotta look at the challenge Instagram. Not J names. God. Seriously. It's J. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. I'll show you who it is for those who don't know. If I can find his photo. I don't think he knows this actually. So, spoiler alert, Jay. And he he messaged me back in the day, but not through my um, not through my current account. It was back like my private account. Like I, I had a friends and family Finsta. Where's his photo? Oh, <laughs> Jay. That's his name, isn't it? Fuck my life. Fuck my life. It is Jay. That's. <laughs> Cool. Love that for me. Um, is there another Chad Johnson? No, we were talking about we were talking about Chad Johnson from the Bachelor franchise, and then we were talking about Jay, who I think originated from Survivor. Because people were asking about like crushes. And so I never really had one. But then I thought, okay, whose like DMs have I slid into? And yeah, Jay would have been one. <laughs> Chad, not necessarily, but I do remember there was a time where he followed me and I thought it was so cool. I was like, oh my god. Chad's following me. How embarrassing. Um, okay, Winston. Is he, does he have like a like a like a southern accent or something? Because if it's who I think it is, I follow him on TikTok, and he's he's a good looking guy. I will I will say that if it's who I think it is. I should look at my phone and see. Oh, you're you're talking football players? Um, no. No, no, no. I'm, now I'm trying to like read some of these comments. <laughs> Good night, Becca. Thanks for joining. If you want to see the rest of this live, which will only be about 30 minutes longer, that's where I'm trying to keep these lives. They'll be they'll be posted. Um, vibrator recommendations. Actually, I do have one coming up. Um, it is a paid post, but it is a true, authentic recommendation because that was my request when they reached out to me. I was like, on record, I'm the one that I really like. So that'll be coming up. Yes, Winston. Okay. I do follow him on TikTok. We have chatted very lightly, like, in the comment section. Like, nothing, like, nothing direct. Nothing like a direct message, you know? So, yeah. Um, if there's a crime out there, he's going to comb his hair because he's a good-looking guy. Are we still talking about Winston right now? This is so, this is, I feel so caught off guard. You know, here's the thing, because these these lives now, whereas I used to like keep them very exclusive, like I'm not posting them. Um, I will be posting this for everyone else to watch later, which is kind of embarrassing at times, depending like what I say, because then people can be like, fast forward to 45 minutes. And that's when she starts talking about this guy she fucked. I need to come to an emo night in NYC. I love emo concerts so much. <sighs> what does Aunt Lindsay think about your exes? Mm, I don't know. She doesn't think much about it in general. I'm, tr- I'm still trying to read these. 
someone from another reality show. Look, I just, I just can't date right now. I, I, I'm not in a place. I really, I thought I would be. And like I said, the last person I tried to like kind of date, not date. I, I think I, not to be dramatic, but I really feel like I gave like the last shits that I had left in the dating world and then was just like regretted that real quick and now I just like I have nothing left to give I need to just like work on myself focus on myself did I see Nelly in here I think I did these messages are going quick though is your new place larger yes I so I, I rent a house now whereas before I was living or living in an apartment Yet this house was cheaper than my apartment. So um, would you ever host a girls night? Okay, I've actually thought about um, hosting something that, see, sometimes I get texts. I'm like, what does this person say? Um, hosting some kind of, I don't want to say sleepover, but like a theme of like girl, no, I don't want to say girl chat because guys can come too. But just like, like a hangout like this, but like in person. Everyone comes, wear your pajamas. I'll pass out. Caitlin's wine. There'll be food. I don't know. Like just like a fun night, you know? Um, I gotta read this message just to make sure it's nothing. Oh. <laughs> it's just a friend. But I was scared it was gonna be something bad. <sighs> yeah. I'm focusing on myself. And here's the thing. I so here are my goals, guys. I'm I'm putting them on this live. Because guess what? This live is going to be posted. And one year from now, I can watch this live and be like, Katie, how are you doing in those goals? Goal number one, build this YouTube channel. You guys are here from the ground up. Right now, this laptop is on my bed. I have a ring light on a box. My camera, my legit camera died. It's just me. One year from now, this is going to be different. I just know it. I just know it. It is. So grow my YouTube channel. Number two, comedy. And look, somehow, this is, oh, I'm gonna get this off my chest right now because also this will be posted and anyone who wants to watch this little rant will always get to see it because it's on my YouTube. There was one reporter who showed up for the time that I got to open for Whitney Cummings. And this reporter, I should look up this person and I should message them because it really pissed me off. They wrote such a clickbaity article about my performance with Whitney Cummings and said things like, Katie begs, get me off this stage. Have you been to a comedy show? Like there's this thing called like sarcasm and exaggerated statements and um, no. Like I I enjoyed opening for Whitney. I enjoyed doing stand-up. People laughed. Like was it like clunky because it's my first time? Sure. Is it slowing me down or making me think like I will never do it again? No. I'm fucking funny. And if you don't know me, you're about to find out. My friends who know, like I know, like I know comedy is a route that I want to go. And I've been going to open mics. I've been writing. I will be practicing. Like anyway, the whole point is that article really pissed me off because I was like, so to this day, people think I just bombed. Like, like the vision I get of people who like read the article and weren't there was like, wait, was someone there? Yes, that was wild last night. I, I can't even tell what's happening. But the vision I picture is like people being like, oh my God, like they booted her off stage or something. No, I did exactly what a like first time stand up person would do. People laughed. It was fun. I enjoyed it. It's not slowing me down. So whoever, whoever read the article and wasn't there, Whoever is sitting here, sorry, I keep like hiccuping and burping. Whoever is sitting here thinking like, Katie, <laughs> comedy? No. Bitch, I'll give you a free uh, Netflix subscription the day that my special comes out, okay? Will, will it happen overnight? No, you got to put in the work. And I haven't been. I've been living under a freaking rock because that's what the show did to me. The show has really fucked me up, like mentally. Like it took a long time to really get out and it held me back in, in a lot of ways. But I'm like finally at a place where I feel like good. I feel at peace. I feel ready. And this is, this is why like ultimately I think it's okay that I'm single. I think it's okay that things aren't working out with these guys. 
because it allows me to just really focus on me. If it allows me to start writing, it allows me to go to these open mics, which is essentially like practice. It's like, you know, like open gym volleyball, but it's like open gym, open mic, you know, I don't know. Anyway, my goals, YouTube, comedy. Actually, really, that's, those are my two goals, like my immediate goals, growing this YouTube channel and, and really starting to put in the work with comedy and seeing what opportunities come of that. But that am I free now? <laughs> Not exactly free. Um, I'm trying to read what's happening in here. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to like I'm engaging, but I'm also reading the comments. I'm trying to like you know. Anyway, what what I think is great though is you all are here in the beginning. Some of you have been here from the beginning, beginning. Like before I was ever even on TV. You guys are here on my TikTok era. And so those are those who are here on my TikTok era know that I have potential. I am funny. And here's the thing. You gotta be your biggest chiller. Some of you guys might be watching me being like, Katie, shut the fuck up. You're so cocky. Well, you gotta be cocky. I saw you, Meg. I will I will pick another card. You gotta be cocky. You gotta be your biggest cheerleader. If you don't think you're the shit, then then no one else is gonna think you're the shit. I'm the fucking shit. I am the shit and I know it and it's going to happen for me. And now all the distractions in my life are finally removed. It is just me, myself and I in this life that I have. This is my stage, bitch. Welcome to it. All right, card. See, this one won't work because we're not all actually hanging out in person. Um... Okay, the person who most recently used the bathroom drinks. Basically, if you if you went to the bathroom during this live, drink. I will drink with you because I've been talking a lot. Oh, should I refill this? I should. I only have, ooh, 23 minutes left of this live, guys. I try to keep these lives around 90 minutes. If it's, if it's flowing, maybe I'll go two hours, but I doubt it. 90 minutes feels like a very healthy level. Yes, Jessica, manifest. Manifest it all. Where's Tommy? I'm actually surprised he's not in here, to be honest. But I did feed him right before the live so that he'd go away and not try and be all up on me. Anywho, I still can't believe the camera didn't work. I still, I'm still thinking about that. <clears throat> Host game night. Ooh, in real life. I would love to do, um, oh, Jackbox. I love Jackbox. I'm trying to read some of these. Well, somebody told me you're a boyfriend. Oh, you're just like singing some emo songs. Hell yeah. Starting with you. Oh, no, see, this is a group setting. What am I drinking? A Paloma that comes in a can. It's actually very good. I'm trying to find a card that you guys could do. Ready to see the event with Katie Tour go live. See, I think that'd be really fun. Like, I think it'd be fun once I figure out like what the heck I'm actually doing and a little bit of structure and organization to do, um, think like TED Talks, but think of like, those are like very professional. Think of like TED Talks, but like with alcohol. <laughs> think of like TED Talks, but like with your best friend, you know, like just a little, just a little more fun. Um, I gotta, t I gotta throw these cards. Okay, here we go. I found one. Everyone with an Android phone drinks, which also, here's a fun fact for you. Um, so all the guys on my season were in a group chat and of all the guys, guess which guy was the one with the Android phone. Dave, when is this show? Because I don't know, maybe. Anyway, Ted Slurs. <laughs> I, really, I love that. Oh my God. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, that's actually, that's actually great. Um, Michael A. Michael A. was the one with the Android phone of the group. I think he has since switched over, but it was just in true like dad form. Of course, he's the one without the iPhone and freaking screwing up the group chat. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. You know, I should op I should be opening like YouTube to see these comments a little bit more live, but my stream it's it's late 
probably November. Hmm. I definitely am, I think I'm going to definitely open, not, I don't know if these open, but I have a little set um, with Corey in December. November, that's a possibility. Message me so I can at least put it on my mind. If it's like four minutes, that's my, that's, those are my like little targets here. Okay, bye. I think. <laughs> um, you have a screenshot of my live on Instagram. I think you'd be funny. You should look at it. Oh my God. Like a screenshot? Like a, like a picture of this live? Man. Anywho. Wrong card. Wrong card. What's your number one regret about your batch season? Not the obvious. Um, I don't know how to really explain this correctly. This is going to sound like shade towards the show, and I don't mean it to sound that way, but like, I was, I think I was really leaning into it being like, I'm like hesitant to say this. I really wanted it to be real. And for like all of it. However, there's there's just very limited time to allow real moments and you have to let go of that desire to have real moments with every single guy versus maybe just focusing on like who's like your top like two to three guys. My own opinion, I don't, I can't speak for how the show is ran or done or whatever, but like. I just remember like really being like upset when I had to send someone home who I was like, I didn't even talk to them. Or maybe keep someone that I didn't think was a good idea to keep, but I chose to keep them anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it just makes everyone's job difficult. Mine, the producer, you know, it's just like, like part of me wishes that I... I was instantly attracted to one person night one because that probably would have been like the producer's dream because they get to dangle night one guy whoever it is in front of me the whole season and I'll like do whatever they need so that I get time with this guy but I was just so open I was so open to every single guy I have no type anyone who knows me in my real life knows what all my exes look like and none of them are the same they all have different backgrounds like and it was actually like really I don't know if a burden is the right word, but like it was very hard to be so open to 30 guys because then like one minute you feel for this guy, the next minute you're feeling for that guy. And then the next minute you're like pissed that this guy's going home or that you have to send like seven home. You're like, okay, but he was hot. I feel like we could have had a good conversation at least, you know? So, um, yeah, that was, that's the hard part about the show is is you want it to be as it's like so real to you, but there's just such little time for it to happen that way. Funny behind the scene memory from the bachelor. I'm so mad they didn't show this. My literally, I think about this all the time, oh, all the time. <laughs> so Justin and I, we were at our hometown, and <laughs> I've told this story before, but we're we're um where he's telling me his friends' names. And if you guys have ever seen the show um, House Bunny, where she'll be like, Jessica, you know, like, like okay. And they're like, this is Amanda. Amanda. Like, him and I just, like, kept going back and forth saying the names, like, Herbert, I think was one of the names. that I don't know if that's correct. It's been a while. But we were so giddy and hyper like you know when you like start laughing and you just can't stop laughing that's where we're at um to the point where like <laughs> I think they're getting mad because there's there's some scenes that are supposed to be very serious hometowns is very serious just was like walk in like this is a very big deal and it is but we were just in a very giggly state and um we could not we could not get our shit together like to the point where like you know what I mean? Like when you start laughing, you can't stop. We we were at that point. Like every time we were about to open the door to like go in the big the big moment, we just like we just could not. And it was it was just so fun. It, I just loved it. I I thought for sure it was gonna make the bloopers, but for some reason it didn't. And I'm like, 
this is actually a very like funny, relatable inside joke. I don't know. It was, it was great. Justin really did get the short end of the stick. I know a lot of you guys think he like accidentally made it far, but there was like, he, there was so much that happened with him and I that never made the cut, which was interesting. I mean, I guess they obviously want to probably focus on like the winner. Like you don't want to show all these like great moments with the non-winner knowing that you're with somebody else at the end. But, um, yeah, he's, he's in paradise for this season. So I'm very, very excited to watch that. He's very, he's, he's a good guy. He'll be fun to watch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading some of these comments. Um, justice for Tasha being the bachelor host. Yeah, I liked the girl format, Caitlin and Tasha with the female leads. But I mean, I will say like behind the scenes, we all shared the same makeup artist. We all shared the same um, wardrobe person. So yeah. Anyway, I shouldn't be talking too much about Bachelor stuff, guys, if I'm being completely honest. Like I have some rules I have to follow and I feel like I'm now kind of veering into that direction and I shouldn't do that. So we're going to change the subject. Um, what do I want to tell you that's not bachelor related? Because also I am trying to move away from that identity. Um, I'm just like distracted by like paradise bachelor and you know, all these comments here. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. My mind's just like, I'm, I'm dropping. You know what it is? It's, it's the no music thing. I got I to gotta find um, like royalty-free music streaming for the background because it is really hard to engage with people you cannot see, you cannot hear anybody. So at least music helps a little bit. Maybe I'll like wear headphones. You guys won't hear the music, but I will. Tell us about your new appliances. Oh my God. How ridiculous. I had to accept a place to live in that had no washer or dryer or fridge and pay three months rent up front and which I thought they would not do this but they did and collect my security deposit that's how competitive it is here in California but I was like no fridge no problem so I had a mini fridge for about two weeks now but having a regular fridge will be nice I wasn't gonna buy one today but there was a discount if I did. So I was like, I guess I need one. Fine. Um, oh, wait, Cassie. Epidemic sounds is so good. For okay, Cassie, can you DM me that on Instagram? I'm pretty confident I'll see your DM. Because um, I need that. I need I need sound. <laughs> this is too, too quiet for me. That's illegal. Oh, someone else said that. The guy at Home Depot was like, I don't think that's legal. You're, which part are you talking about? Um, the three months rent. <laughs> the no fridge. Anyway, look, whatever is or isn't legal, that's on them. I'm just the tenant. I just live here. <laughs> Thank you, Cassie. I appreciate it. Were you always someone who stood up against bullying, like as a kid too? Um... Yeah, like, I was, like, the girl that was, like, friends with everybody. Like, I was, like, uh, let me take that back. I did have a, a, a history, not a history, a moment, a one-time moment in middle school that I was probably considered, like, a bully. But it was, like, it was like bullying the bully, which doesn't make it right, but in my mind it felt like it was a good idea at the moment. But obviously looking back, you're like, that was not very kind, Katie. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I was, I've always been nice to people. Like literally I was voted like social butterfly and sweetest and kindest. Like I was, I was just such a social person, which is obviously probably why I'm like here, like on YouTube live, just like chatting with people tonight. Um, which by the way, how long is it? Like? Oh, we only got like 10 minutes left, you guys. Um, the deposit, she said she do so not illegal. It was offered first and last first. And I mean, yeah. I think I was just trying to give myself an extra edge by offering three months rent up front so that I would be picked because I kept getting beat out at these other places. But 
anyway, um, I don't remember what the fuck I was saying now. I blame this alcohol as I continue to drink it, even though this live is going to be ending soon. I see your questions about bachelor stuff and you guys, I'm trying, I've, there's only like so much I can and can't say, especially on YouTube. Um, so I'm trying to respect those boundaries. I'll give you like bits and pieces there, you know, but for the most part, like trying to steer away from that. Anywho. Thank you, Abby. Truth bomb for last minute. Ooh. Okay. Ask me some questions that are not batch related that you want the like honest, no filter, truth, opinion, whatever. And we'll see what I say. But look, for the most part, I am an open book. Um, you want to know the middle school bully moment? There was this mean girl. I don't want to say mean girl because now I feel like I'm like re-bullying her. I won't, okay, I won't say like her name, but her name started with an, with an E. And she was kind of a bully. At least that's the vibe that she gave off. And so middle school, we all, we all, me and three other girls wore a shirt that said N-O-L-E, which said for no one likes this E name. And I don't even know like why we thought that was like empowering or like a good idea. And I think it would have probably been okay, except one of the girls ended up having people sign the shirt and told people like what it stood for. So then all these people started signing the shirt, which then wasn't very nice. And then we actually got suspended for a day for um, bullying and intimidation or something. I forget like the exact definition, but um, yeah, that was like the one time that I can think of like being like, quote, a mean girl or like bullying or something that was like bad. Um... Again, not that it makes it right, but, like, we did it because she was not a very nice girl. But, yeah. That's the only thing I can think of in terms of, like, not being nice. Oh, shoot. Now there's, like, a delay here. Now, what is happening? Okay. Um, whoa. Okay. Let's go up. I'll, I'll go. We'll go, like, rapid fire for these last ones. Last time you had good sex... <laughs> You guys, it was just this casual person. It was this casual person. And here's the thing. The last time we had sex, I didn't know it was going to be the last time. And I don't think he knew it was going to be the last time because that's how things work. You just don't realize it. And yeah, it was the last time. And here, okay, here's a here's this embarrassing story that I'll tell you. <laughs> so we decided to, we were like, we should end this casualness. It's, we should stop. I'm like, okay, it's fine. But then I was like making jokes. I was like, but damn, like if I only knew that was the last time we had sex, like we'd really just like go all out before saying goodbye. So long story short, <laughs> I thought I was very clear about my intentions of like one more time. This like, let's have like a booty call. Let's just like, let's end on a great note. I thought he knew that. I really did. And so... I'm getting ready that night. Like, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I've been, like, showered, shaved, like, perfume everywhere. Body hair, don't know her. Matching underwear, yes. Like, everything. Like, I'm like, you will never forget me after this night. <laughs> and so I'm, like, waiting around on the text. And finally the text comes in. And it's, like, a little, like, smiling devil emoji. I'm like, finally. The time has come. <laughs> or it is not coming. Because... <laughs> we're talking and suddenly he tells me he's on a walk which he does like he does walks and like but like long walks I'm like you're on a walk and he's like yeah I'm always on, like you know this like I go on walks at night and I was like I was very blunt I go look I'm gonna be honest if you want to fuck me please let me know right now and I will head over <laughs> and he responds back and goes oh I thought you were joking Ugh. which was like so embarrassing, so sad, so not the night I was going for. I was like, cool, cool, cool. I wasn't, um, but I'm going to go to bed now because I, I was tired, but I, uh, nice talking to you. <laughs> um, so that sucked, but we did hang out, I think like one and a half times, we'll say, since then, um, but we were very clear, like, which I appreciate. It was like, this is not a booty call that we cannot have sex. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, 
so yeah, if I'm being honest, that was the last time I had good sex. And it sucks because I didn't even know it was going to be the last time. Here's something interesting, though. The last time I had sex with my exes, both times, like each ex, was not good. But also didn't know it was going to be the last time. And then it's like, it was like in hindsight, you're like, oh, if I was paying attention better, I would have known like this was a sign. Like if you're having bad sex in your relationship or you're not enjoying your sex in your relationship, it's a sign that something is off. I mean, I feel like that's a given, but also like sometimes people just go like, oh, like what? They just like accept it. No, if your sex is bad, something is off in your relationship. Something's about to be off in your relationship. Like, I don't know. But yeah. Okay. Maybe that was like TMI, but okay. Let's scroll down. Um, what's your flirting style? I'm like very, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I'm very direct. I'm very blunt. I literally told someone, actually, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. <laughs> no, I said I'd be open. I said I'd be open. Okay. So there's this, there's this, um, there's this guy who's been like messaging me, but like, again, I just haven't really been interested, but then I'm like, I should try like put myself out there so we've been kind of going back and forth for a while it's just never happened and then finally I said something like yeah one of these days we'll meet up and you'll how'd I word it gosh so embarrassing I can't believe I'm sharing this it was something like you'll regret waiting so long <laughs> like I'm just very blunt I'm just very blunt and bold I'm like I just say what's on my mind did Harry spit on Chris Pine yes that's my opinion age of my first time 15 with a boyfriend which sounds so young. I mean, it is young, but I was 15 years old. Pineapple and pizza, you're a psychopath. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, sex or masturbation? Honestly, I prefer sex. I really do. My vibrator cannot cuddle me after. Uh, my vibrator cannot kiss me on my forehead. My vibrator cannot hand me a towel. Like, there's just, like, all these things that, like, it's, like, sex is such a passionate thing and a vibrator is just like a physical thing you know um okay I'm like so behind on these but I'm keep going will I adopt another cat no what was the best date ever it was with this Irish guy he like gave me like the works like it was like literally like a six plus hour date of like multiple places it was like it was like I don't know how to explain it it was just multiple like he put in the effort and it was like, I was like, damn, this guy is really putting an effort on this date. I was just so used to guys just being like, let's meet up for coffee. Let's meet up for drinks, you know. But this guy was like, I have an agenda. Here's the theme. Uh, we will be together for the next six hours. Um, baby names for a girl. Ugh, we'll not go there with that one. Okay, I'm scrolling down to the bottom because now I'm very, very behind. And this live is ending, so... Oh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. <laughs> see, this is why I wish I could see your comments live, like actual live, because then I see your reactions. So, okay, I'm scrolling to the bottom. Here we go. Boom. All right. Well, thanks for joining. This live is ending now. Um, it was a bit of a sh show because of technical difficulties, which I will be looking into. Um... <laughs> But where's the Irish guy now? I think he went back to Ireland, to be honest. And ended up on an Ir Irish dating show, which was crazy too. But I don't know. I, it's hard to stalk people in Ireland because it's different. It's a different country. <laughs> that sounds stupid. But you know what I mean? Like, like things aren't like as search, search or searchable. Like the Bachelorette is very big in like all countries. This miscellaneous Ir Ireland small dating show not so much but I tried because when I found out I was like oh how did that go um if you did miss my live though I will be reposting it to my youtube channel so you're more than welcome to watch the chaos that was this first live um thank you for joining <laughs> these I so in my mind in my vision of this uh, I will be doing these every Thursday we will call these Thursday Thursdays. We'll hang out. We'll have topics. These will be these will be more streamlined in the future. I think. <laughs> Anywho, I appreciate you joining. Hopefully, I know how to finish this, and um, I'll see you next Thursday. Good night.